Hey everybody, it's Steve from Corporate Gone Country. I'm just an ex-corporate guy trying to do country things, and the country thing I'm doing today is following up on a video that I did last year on stocking this pond with tilapia. Uh, I did that to control vegetation and algae, and I gotta say it worked out pretty well. The tilapia did their job. But as I said in that video, the tilapia die out over the winter time, and now it's May of 2024, the weather's getting warm, the algae's starting to bloom, and I really don't see any signs of tilapia in the pond, so I'm going to have to restock, which is not a surprise. But before I do that, there's a couple of things that I might want to tackle. Uh, one is the pond has been overgrown with maiden cane. I sent the photos into uh, Texas A&M University of what this vegetation is, and that's what they told me it is. So I need to find a way to limit that growth. And number two, this morning when I visited the pond, I haven't been here in a while, there were tiny alligators that were popping up along the along the shoreline over there and I saw about seven of them. Uh, it's a little bit later in the day today and I've come out here to try to get them on camera but they've seen me now and they've gone scarce so I haven't been able to get any of them on camera. Obviously a female alligator came in here and laid a nest and it looks like we've got I don't know could be I saw seven, but it could be as many as a dozen. Who knows? Uh, they will eat fish. It's not necessarily the main part of their diet. They're pretty opportunistic, but I'm sure if they have the chance to snatch a tilapia, they will. But I need to get the tilapia back into the water because the algae's coming around and um, hopefully they can find their way free of the alligators. So if you have any ideas on that, please put them down in the comments. This maiden cane is pretty dense and we've been battling it for years. We've tried this Polaris AC Complete herbicide. It's safe for fish and it really does kill the maiden cane, but it keeps coming back so it's not a permanent fix. So I'm looking for an herbicide that will do the job. So we're going to do some mechanical cutting today. It's not a permanent fix as well, but let's get the tractor and see if we can do some damage. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut me a swath and I'm going to stay away from the shoreline probably about four to five feet so I don't tump over or go in the water. <clears throat> then I'm going to come back and stab the mower deck in backwards uh, such that I can cut this vegetation down right at the shoreline. make one more pass. There's a bunch of hog wallows in there that make it pretty rough riding, but uh, I guess that's just part of it. So we'll have to do something about the hogs as well. Some of that grass is about four feet high. So I've got a swath cut now. I can kind of see what I'm doing. And now I'm gonna go ahead and back this thing in here and see if I can do some damage to this vegetation that's right on the shoreline. It's not perfect, but it is a lot better than it was. At least I can get down to the shoreline now and take a closer look at the fish. Uh, the water's kind of dark basically because there's some cloud cover here today. So it's hard to see down in there. But uh, you can see this debris that I've cut is already making its way down to, oh, what is the north end of the pond? So by tomorrow, it should look clean again. So I've got a little bit more to do on this end and I'll get to it. But uh, this is only a temporary measure, cutting it down, it's gonna grow back. So like I say, I gotta find a herbicide to be able to control it better. 
Well, thank you for watching today's episode of Corporate Gone Country. If you like what you see here, please like and subscribe. We really appreciate your viewership and hope to see you on a future video. Bye now. Thank you.